there are um, two beams of sound coming from the left side and the right side. John Burnett is an artist and a sound researcher at the Qualcomm Institute at UC San Diego. It's as if you're wearing headphones, but nothing's there. Burnett created three different soundscapes. The one he's showing is about touch screens. It's, it's like very algorithmic how people interact with their phones now. It's, it's um, like swiping in various directions and um, saying yes and no to things, organizing data. And, um, so I used um, these, these algorithmic um, processes to produce the, the sound in, um, in this particular piece. The canvas that's available to artists is quite expansive now at the state of technology. And the broad range of techniques used here is evident throughout the gallery. This exhibit features 16 local artists who work together with scientists from seven different research institutions to put together works, including everything from an inside out shark to tiny little protests. My name is Trish Stone. I work at UCSD Qualcomm Institute. I knew I wanted from the get-go to talk about revolution, to talk about overthrowing the government. Um, and part of my reason for printing a hundred Trishas was because I thought I needed at least a hundred in order to accomplish those goals. Stone worked with the San Diego Art Institute to put this exhibit together. Her work takes computer programming language and applies it to the concepts of protest and community organizing. Little, little bits of code language that also have another meaning in English. Um, so things like uh, the code for run is just a dot slash, um, and that would run a program. But it's also what we tell protesters to do if uh, somebody uh, is too harsh with them. She created these pieces in response to the 2016 election of Donald Trump, including this video game. The main character is a Trish, one of the figurines uh, that you see earlier. And she is wandering through this landscape that's supposed to look a little bit like Southern California, but maybe in a fantasy world. In this moment, she's found all the other Trishas and she can join the protest with them. This artwork from Stone and the soundscape from Burnett will be featured alongside a number of other science and art pieces at the San Diego Art Institute until May 3rd. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.